goodness, my hair is crazy. Let's see who shows up first. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is going to be a quick live. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Anybody here? Anybody here? Who's going to be first? Ooh, no one's here. And it's been 23 seconds. Oh, somebody showed up. Who is he? Dun, 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 dun. All right, let me post it in the group. Oh, I can hear myself talking. Hey, hey, hey. How are you guys doing? What's going on? What's going on? I feel like this is like broken. Hey, 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 Danica. Hey, Choose Joy family. Hey, Tabitha. Hey, Kayla. What's up? What are you guys up to? It's like a quick a little live um, my sister's coming to watch the game soon I need to go to sleep but I wanted to do a um, quick live I know you guys all have <laughs> hi Anna Maria <laughs> um, you guys always ask about the thread colors so Kayla doing dishes. <laughs> Hi everyone. You almost spilled this. Hey Ashley. Have you guys um had this is not even Dunkin' Donuts. This is a passion tea lemonade. If you guys gotten it from Starbucks, it's so good. But they sell the the Tazo Passion Tea at Wegmans and I just pour the simply lemonade in it. It's so good. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Danielle. Uh, I'm supposed to be making dinner, but we got cereal. <laughs> That's, that is what we had for dinner last night. Because, like, we ate early. Like, you know when you eat an early lunch? It's, like, between lunch and dinner. So, like, a dinner. Yeah, we had that. We had Chipotle at, like, 4.30, 5 o'clock. So, we were full, and it was, like, 7.30. We're, like, okay, now we're a little bit hungry. So, we had cereal. Ashley, I will use your cup. I, my concern is I don't want to mess it up. So I feel like I'm using, I'm going to use it as like a prop in my video. So it's going to just sit and look beautiful. I just don't want to get messed up. It's so pretty. Cindy, I ordered my thread and stabilizer from allstitch.com. Hi Gladys, Cynthia. Hi Angela, new and I really enjoy it and thank you for your inspiration. Oh, thank you for watching. Hey Jay. <laughs> she can make you another one. <laughs> My phone's dead. I will check Nicole, sorry. I don't, oh I have Facebook on my phone. Oh man. Okay, Nicole, I'll do that. Um, it will be fine. Trust me, my toddler has thrown hers. My mom did the same thing. She keeps it in, in a china cabinet. <laughs> See, yes. They're, uh, they're gonna be collectibles, antique items. Hi, Bernadette. Hi, A Taste of Puerto Rico. Mm -mm -mm. 
Oh, thank you. Hi, Miss Bling. Judy, thank you. Ooh, so I got my thread Ooh. from All Stitch. They did add the colors that I needed because I didn't have all the colors that I use in the big cones because they have like they have almost every color in the little cones, but um, I need the big cones because my machine. Is this is one that I. Who likes this kind of tape? I hate this tape. Like. You know it's secure, it's not gonna go anywhere, but like opening this tape is like torture. Let's see. I don't even know where the middle of the box is. Don't worry if that's the middle of the box. It's not gonna work. I know when you guys are gonna be like the box cutter. I know. I know. This is just it's not scissors this time. Oh, they, I knew it! <laughs> Box cutter, girl. I don't have it. I don't know where it is. Keenan lost them all. Hi, Embroidery Diva. Hi, Katie. So this is from allstitch.com. You guys know where I got stuff. Can't open it that way because my head is on it. So. Alright. It could open. I hope you guys don't fall. Yeah, I know. I need a, I need a magnetic something. My least expensive machine is the uh, Baby Lock Alliance, which is oh my drink. I mean, you almost like coffee, but it's not coffee. It is like not my computer. Is this one? That is the Baby Lock Alliance. That's the cheapest one. So this is what I got out. Some hat backing for oh, there's me and my uh, staples. Be careful with staples when you order stabilizer. But cat backing for caps. And then my threads. So... I got when I get a little cone, it's to test the color because I get mad when I spend seven dollars on a thread and it's not the right. So I get the little cones to try. Um, this is like a coralish color. Um, I know some of you guys may want to know. It's number eighteen nineteen. If you guys uh, are looking for a coral color, I just don't like buying rolls. I don't like cutting things. That's just true. I'm just lazy. <laughs> That's why. But if you want to save money, yes, buying rolls is cheaper. But um, I'm lazy. So, um, I just my P800 and my single heavy duty. I'm so excited to start, and I have my supplies already. Oh yeah! Oh, I put it back. Okay. So next thread color is black. <laughs> These are 1800. Black, black, black. Um, oh my goodness. All right, look at my thing, so I think something's missing. Um, and then I got white, which is 18, hold on. These are 1800, this is 1801. So, always have lots of black and then white i use a lot because of the unicorn ears is always white so i use black every pretty much every design you'll ever have in life um and then this is the yellows that i use for blonde for blonde hair um and then my fabric that i use is the sunshine fabric um but this is 1866 and it's like a maze yellow, so I use this for blonde hair. Better write these things down, guys. 
and the next is purple. Um, to me, this is like just a normal purple, normal shade of purple. And this is 1832. It looks so dark there. 1832. And then my go-to lavender. Here's a color comparison. Lavender is 1711. And this is hot pink, hot pink, hot pink. This matches our hot pink mermaid scale, hot pink uh, flector vinyl, just, um, and hot pink um, stalls is hot pink. I think they call it fluorescent pink glitter flake. Hi. And then we have a navy, and this is 1966. What the hell? Who's down here? My phone's dead. Keenan, I swear, if that was not Keenan, somebody's gonna have to come and just, I'm, I'll be out. <laughs> um, maybe 1866. That scared the bejesus out of me. This is my royal blue color, um, and this is 1934. I swore I ordered two of these. Um, this is for one of your guys' orders. You guys ordered Carhartt jackets, so that's going to be another video. And this is the dark gray I found. It's like steel gray or charcoal. Um, this is 1741. Um, next is orange. I use for Halloween. It's 1765. And my go-to skin tone color is, this is like a beige color. It's called coconut cream. I think, yes. Yeah, coconut cream. This is 1822. So I use this for, uh, my beige mermaids. That's the color I call it. Beige mermaids, 1822. I gotta check my invoice because I swear I ordered two of this thread and I only got one. Let me check. Nope, I guess I only ordered one. Alright, that is what I ordered thread wise. Do you guys have any other colors you wanted me to tell you the number two? Because I know I get that question a lot. And all these threads were $7.95. Um, I think white and black are usually like a few cents cheaper. It's pretty, pretty cheap. And all stitch is in the That's why I ordered from them. Hot pink was $15.97, I think. What's that? I think it's $15.97. Yeah, $15.97 is hot pink. Yeah, all stitch doesn't have a store. I went one day because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be able to go look at all the thread colors. It'd be awesome. But no, it's like a lobby that you just pick up your order. I went like two years ago. I was just now watching your uploaded video, Dear Entrepreneur, Let's Get Real. I have to say, I was really enjoying what you had to say. Oh, thank you. If you guys are ever feeling discouraged, I really encourage you to watch that video because I. I just some days I get in my feelings and I feel like people need to feel motivated and understand we are all humans and feeling discouraged is not is not uh not unlikely <laughs> what is the word I'm trying to say it's common to feel discouraged you're not alone and it, it, you can be, po be positive about it um so yeah no those are not all stitch numbers those are Madeira numbers This is Madeira Poly Neon Thread. I use this thread um, 
it doesn't uh what's it called when you wash it it doesn't bleed um i know some rayon threads bleed when you wash it you missed my comments but i said i just got my friend's bb craft order today they need to pay you commission <laughs> Uh, and I mean, I don't think BB Craft would ever pay me commission. <laughs> um, but I do. So the heat transfer vinyl, I don't sell it. That's Stoll's heat transfer vinyl. Um, that's like the uh, the company for my heat press. Um, they sell it and I get commission off of it. So if you guys buy it from my links, um, then I'll get a percentage back. So thank you guys. Yeah, they don't fade either. Correct. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read. I know I can't be on here alone. Um, I'm trying to go back. Oh, thank you, Miss Crafty Capricorn. Hi, Ruth. Also, guys, the pre order, I'm expecting that to arrive early october so early next month i know it's not that far away <laughs> um so i'll just keep you guys updated if you are in the facebook group i will obviously post when it gets closer um so yeah maggie you really motivated me oh thank you stephanie i don't prefer one over the other um Recently, I've been using the um, embroidery vinyl. I guess because I've been using glitter vinyl for so long, it just looks, I gives it like a 3D pop to me, and it just feels, it's smooth. That's why I like it. So right now, I prefer embroidery vinyl, but I really like them both. I need to order more baby gowns. They sell like crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they'll, they'll be coming in. I'm contemplating contemplating doing another pre-order i know the bubbles like a lot of people are new and they didn't get a chance to get the bubble sweatshirts and i'm contemplating doing another pre-order um, i'm not sure um yes you can use heat transfer vinyl with cricut yes so heat transfer vinyl that it i got this question so much uh when i posted on instagram so heat transfer vinyl is a type of vinyl Cricut just cuts heat transfer vinyl, vinyl, it cuts things. So there isn't a heat transfer vinyl that only works with the Cricut or Silhouette. Heat transfer vinyl is just like a general thing, if that makes sense. So like a computer, it, it, that doesn't make any sense. Don't, don't listen to my analogy. That was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> but I think you understood what I was trying to say. Hi, Shanika. Um, Crystal says, Angela, comma, <laughs> thanks for sharing all your knowledge and wisdom with us. Exclamation mark. <laughs> I feel like my mother. We all know he's moving. We all know there are people out there that wouldn't ever tell everyone what they know. You're welcome, you're welcome. I feel like certain things, yes, I can keep secret, but I mean, it is, it's up to you what you do with the information I give you. You don't have to do anything, um, but if you do, hey, your life, your life can change. You can do what you always wanted to do. Um, it's up to you what you do with it. Also, guys, if you give this video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it, please. Um, Venetia. I work for a financial institution with a five-figure salary. I'm not happy and I love what you do. I want to start my own business. When I was little, I did embroidery. I admire you. Oh, thank you. You can do it. I hope I said your name wrong. I mean, <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> I hope I said your name right. <laughs> right. Yeah, Cricut has their own vinyl. The problem with Cricut's vinyl is it smells like nail polish. Um, and I've had problems with it coming up when I used it in the past, and it's overpriced. That's the only reason I don't like Cricut's vinyl. If I'm in, like, an emergency situation, I use it, but, yeah. 
Um, this is the, I believe this is 40 weight. Yeah. I use 40 weight Madeira Poly Neon. Oh, uh, the Cricut, yeah, you can use the Cricut press for any, for, uh, for vinyl. Yes, for heat transfer vinyl, correct. I'm confused with needles. Are you still 65 ballpoint all day, every day, or do you switch up depending on the project? Like, there's a go-to needle. So, it depends on your machine, but most machines, 7511 ballpoint needle is almost a universal needle. It works for so many different types of fabrics. 7511 ballpoint is usually what you want to use. But, if you have a Melco, they are so fast that for the AJ Blanks themselves, 65.9 ballpoint works best. That's just for the Melcos. On my other machines, I run 75.11 ballpoint. Now, when I'm doing a hat, I switch to 75.11 on the Melcos. I have two needles on both machines that are just 75.11s. So it depends on your project. So you will change it depending on your project. The more thicker it is, you're going to need a different needle. Um, but most of the time, 75.11 ballpoint is like perfect for everything. Please, guys, give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to cry. No, I'm just kidding. Um, purple was... 1832. Yeah, so for most uh, glitter vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, I think it's about 320 degrees. I don't know what settings the Cricut goes up to, but I'm pretty sure it does because it's almost a straight 320 across the board. So if Cricut uses their vinyl as the same thing, it, it'll work. Um, hot pink is 1597. Whoop, whoop, Janet got her all stitch order. Um, my little tea I ordered just got here. Can't wait to use it for a birthday shirt. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, I started out with for Etsy QuickBooks self-employed. Now I use QuickBooks um, Plus, I think is what it's called. Oh, Joni already answered it. Joni's always on it. Dun, dun, dun. When do you decide to use heat transfer over embroidered vinyl? It just depends on what look you're going for. Um, that, that really, <laughs> that's really all it is. It's, it's up to you what you want to do. Um, as I said, I've been using glitter heat transfer vinyl for so long that sometimes you know you you want to make new stuff. So everything that I've been making recently has all been um, embroidery vinyl. It just looks cool. <laughs> it just looks it looks different, and not everybody has it. Um, so that's why I like it. You can make yourself definitely look different and stand out. Hey, uh, hi, hi, Asia or Aisha? Don't know. Um, my phone is dead and my sister's probably calling me. Keenan. Text Michelle. Oh, I forgot I have my computer, which works. I swear I keep seeing something. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> um, oh, Sierra, have you gotten to a point in your business where you actually make a profit or are you still playing catch up? I, th I finally got there. Um, I'm trying to save money to get a house um, because you guys know we're renting this house. So I want to buy a house so that I could either, I don't want to have to get a warehouse because it is so much money here in Maryland and I'd rather just use that money for my own house, a mortgage, and just get like a big house and have like land, I guess, to build like my own warehouse in my backyard or something. I don't know, something like that. I just, I don't know, I just want... Um, I just 
rather get a house, but I have to save money, so. The Hi Lisa. The the font name is Sarah. Stitchtopia Sarah. I don't have a software that, for my inventory. Um what's it called? I use Shopify for like AJ Blanks and whatnot, and um I put in the quantity on there and it it you know it goes down when people buy it. And so I just look at it and I update the quantity. Scared me again. Quantity is needed. Hi, Cassandra. Dona Stavas. I haven't seen you in forever. I see you in the Facebook group. <laughs> but you haven't been on the live in so long. Uh, or you just haven't commented. Hi, Lily's Crafts. Hi, Angela. I love your videos. They are very helpful. When you first started your business, how long was it before you had your first sale? Um, on Etsy, it it was about, uh, I want to say like a, a week. I don't know the exact time, but it was about a week. I had my stuff priced very low and then had ads on, so hopefully it would pop up. <laughs> so, I probably made zero dollars on my first sale just try to get my first few sales hi Kayla hi Kathy hi Tanya yes yeah, so the white long sleeve shirts will be here the for the beginning early October <laughs> early October long sleeve white and black shirts black baby onesies gowns whatever you call them and then it'll be lavender gowns pink gowns blue yellow gray so only thing I don't think I got was gray long sleeve. I can't remember. I ordered it so long ago. So now there's not a lot because most I have, I had a pre-order for it. So a lot of you guys already placed your order for the long sleeve, the bubble sweatshirts and whatnot. So I'll put what's left up, but there isn't going to be like a lot. I use Sebastian. He's in the Facebook group. Hi, Tina. Um, can I embroider hats on the P800? I know it's possible. I've, a lot of people said it's such a headache. It's very hard, but yes, it's possible. I guess there's no one getting my text message in the group because my phone's dead. Um, hi Coco, my AJ Blanks are $5.48 for the girl shirts and then the boy short, boy shirt, yeah, boy shirts <laughs> are five twenty. and we do also have a rewards program, um, so you get reward points every time you buy, so you can redeem them for a discount off your blanks, so yeah. Ebony fool. I need to stop procrastinating and stop. Thanks for it. Yeah, Ebony. Oh my goodness. Yes, you do. <laughs> you do. You do. Um, hey Christina. The Facebook group name is Embroidery Help and Motivation. I could post it because I actually haven't pulled up on my screen. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, let me show you the basic witch shirt. A lot of you guys have ordered it. So most of you who have ordered the basic witch shirt, we just finished making them. Um, so this is only for a limited time. I think it's going to be another week or two that we'll be selling it. Because obviously for Halloween. But you can get it at AngelaJasmina.com. I was practicing just with the hole in my shirt. Oh, that was the worst. Oh, that was the worst. That used to make me so mad. Dun, dun, dun. The adult shirts, those aren't good for embroidery. They're uh, good for DTG and um, 
heat transfer vinyls, but you can get them from Alfred Broder. Yes, the kids' shirts are true to size, yes. Um, Alfred Broder, there's Jippy shirts, uh, Cotton Heritage. I received my vinyl and I love the new matte look. Oh, thank you. I thought it was so, so cute. We were t you seriously seen us trying to figure out the names for those new vinyls? <laughs> I wasn't sure what to name them. On the P800, did you use a cone holder? I want to buy one, just use a cup. YouTube, your Facebook group, and your channel is my motivation. Clicking your videos so quick <laughs> to see what's new. Um, I never used a cone holder, but I know a lot of people get like a little, it's like a little stand with like four thread holders that they use for the P800 to make it easier. How do you know when to change your needles for a new one? So, one, your needle breaks. That's the most <laughs> the most obvious one. But two, when your stitching isn't coming out as clean, um, you'll notice like the bottom of your needle um, is not sharp anymore. It's like a little dull. I don't know the end of the word. Or you'll get like a burr on your needle. Um, you just look at your stitching. If you start seeing like holes in your stitching, you're like, all right, let's change the, change the needle. Like when it stops looking clean, um, yeah. Hi, Katrina Kinney. Um, then I do a lot of rehooping on my P770 to make bigger shirts. No. So I, I was making up to like size six on the P800. I didn't do the rehooping. I just ended up getting another machine. Um, cause I was just me myself i didn't understand how to use a repositional hoop now as i've been embroidering for a long time now i'm like oh man it's so easy <laughs> i was i thought i had to unhoop and then rehoop but the repositional hoop you just move the hoop i'm just a, not too smart but yeah so i ended up getting the bigger machine to do the bigger shirts but i think the p800 is the best machine for body suits for onesies because it just it's perfect for those because it fits uh, the seven inches. Um, you said in one of your last videos you oil your machines every day. Is that just the multi needles or do I need to do that to the P800? Only the multi needles. The P800 it actually tells you not to oil it. Um, I never oiled it. You do take it in to get it serviced about every year depending on on um yeah you can read through the manual and see if it says anything yes if you guys can give this video a thumbs up i'd appreciate it i'd appreciate it i'd appreciate it i'm really trying to get to a hundred thousand guys we're almost there we need ninety nine thousand three hundred more not ninety nine thousand wow i really can't do that <laughs> We need 9,300 more people to subscribe and then we'll get to 100,000. Oh my goodness. Uh, digitize, I'm still not a pro at digitizing. I wouldn't even say I know how to digitize. I understand like the basics, um, but I just watch YouTube videos to figure out the basics, but it it's to me, it's difficult. Some people, just like some people are really good at some things, some not, so. Digitizing is not a thing. I leave it to my digitizer, which is Sebastian. Are you going to do any more transfers for your Cricut? I bought one. I love it. I'm thinking about it. My problem now is just having space to store everything. Um, so if I get a warehouse, which I'd rather have a house than a warehouse, but if I get a warehouse, I'll definitely add more things um, because I have more space and I have to pay rent for a warehouse. So... I better buy more things to sell more things to make more money to make more money to pay for that warehouse. Um, do, do, do. Um, how to embroider AJ Blank shirts with a magnetic hoop? I don't have the magnetic hoop, um, Stephanie. I saw your comment on the last video. I don't have a hoop, um, and I have to find. I gave Judy all my P eight hundred stuff, so I don't even have anything for it right now. Um, but I would consider it. Um, 
what made you start embroidery in the first place? Um, it was kind of like an accident. I'd never in my life would have ever thought that I would be doing embroidery. I was like, oh, I'm going to be in the FBI or I'm going to bake cakes. That's Those are my two options. Embroidery? Didn't even know it existed. Like, I had an obsession because I played sports in high school and I liked having my name on the back of my uh, sweaters and hoodies and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I'm like, oh my God, how people do that? But I didn't even know embroidery existed. Um, and I was at the flea market and people were asking me for shirts, custom birthday shirts, but they didn't want them that ones that faded. So I was like, well, let me think of something else because they were complaining. They came back because someone else at the flea market that sold the custom items before I did. And they were saying they didn't like it because one, it was overpriced, but two, after you wash it, it was fading. Um, so I was like, well, I don't want to have complaints. <laughs> I'm going to be here for a while. So that's when I went on YouTube and searched up how to make birthday shirt. And the embroidery one popped up from Pamela. And that's just how I started. Um, no, I don't make my sister <laughs> I don't make masks uh, no I don't make them um, I'm not and I'm not making tutus, tutus anymore because they just take up so much time for me personally um, I'd rather make like five shirts than make one tutu it was like a tutu would take me like 45 minutes to an hour where in that time I can make a lot more shirts and I don't know if, if you feel this way but when you have an order it's an outfit and you get the shirt done it's like oh i still got to make a tutu so the order is not technically done so that used to irritate me and like i said i have two little kids so trying to sit there and make one tutu to i just i just i just got over it sometimes you know maybe i'll go back to it in the future but right now i'm just like no 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 i'm done <laughs> i'm done i'm done um do do I am, you guys should know how old I am. I'm 20, 20, I am 26, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm 26. I don't do sublimation at all. Do, do, do. Um, I'm wondering what would be the next step up from the P800. I was thinking about one of the six needle machines. In hindsight, would you have gone straight to the Melka from your single needle? Um, I would say from my P800, I wish I would have never gotten the Baby Lock Alliance because I got ripped off and it was so expensive it was a rip off. But um, it depends on what you want to do. I would say if you're trying to do business items like um, hats, jacket backs, stuff, I would go for a more commercial machine. Um, it, it really just depends on what you want to do. Um, I see now, <laughs> I get a lot of uh, emails about doing business logos and everything, and I'm just, I get grateful that I have the milk <laughs> every time, but you guys know I love my milk coat, so it just depends on what you want to do and your budget. If you have no budget, then uh, I would definitely say just go for the milk coat. Um, it's cheaper, way cheaper than a 10 needle brother machine, so I mean, it's really up to you. Um... Where do you bulk order your t-shirts and hoodies from? So all the adult stuff you can get from alphabroda.com, jiffyshirts.com. You do need a business tax ID number. Um, and uh, Cotton Heritage. Oye, Angela, alguna vez hiciste un diseño de bordel? Bocanada en 3D en alguna de tus máquinas y si es así podría mostrar un video. Nunca, uh, nunca he hecho, <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to say this, anything in 3D. Um, yeah. Hi, Joni. Did you ever try baking cakes? No. See, I like to make... I like to make my own cakes. I don't 
So I thought I could make cakes because in middle school, in the home economics class, no, it was high school, home, home economics class, I was in ninth grade, I made a SpongeBob cake and it was cool. It would like, it looked like it can, not be a master chef, but like, I think I can make <laughs> a TV show. Um, so I was like, oh, I, I must be good. I must have a hidden talent. No, it's a lie. I don't. Mm -mm. Um... Besides Etsy, do you recommend any ow, any other sites? Um, I'm trying to think. Well, it really depends. I always, I do recommend you can always start your own website. Um, I you can have Etsy and a Shopify store. It just send every Etsy order send like a card that says oh get ten percent off your next order at your website. So try to build traffic that way. Um, that's an option. Watch T. Hey, Angela, love your channel. Thank you. Um, hace cuánto empezaste este negocio? Empecé hace como cuatro años. No, my husband has not been a police officer for a while. He is not a police officer. Um, yeah, always buy the machine with the largest hoop size you can afford. Um, it makes a world of a difference. Seriously, I love your Spanish. <laughs> no, really, I will help you practice. I try, like, I say certain things in Spanish, so I feel like, I feel like I'm trying to teach Riley Spanish, so I'm talking more in Spanish than I did before. But I swear it's only for when she's in trouble do I speak Spanish. <laughs> so she'll know those words. I sent you coffee funds, LOL, to show you my appreciation. Thank you. I know a lot of you guys send me cash app, um, and I could only send the heart, click the heart button. I wish I could like send the message back, but I can't. But know that I love you guys. <laughs> um, I've never worked for an embroidery company ever. I have never worked for an embroidery company. I worked at the flea market. That's it. How do you motivate yourself to get up uh, when you can get things done? So, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but I love to work. That's, I love to do it. Um, I literally, after I get off of here, I'm going to go upstairs. Um, my sister's bringing some food. Watch, I'm not really going to watch a football game. I'm going to watch my own shows on Netflix while they watch the football game. And then I, I lay in bed. Feed Roman, and I'm just like, okay, so tomorrow, what is my game plan? What am I going to do tomorrow? Okay, coffee. So I get coffee in the morning. I'm like, perfect. I really get lattes for you guys who don't. I hate coffee. I love lattes. Um, and um, then I'm just like, okay, make some stuff. I just I just love what I do. So I don't ever have a day where I'm like, oh, I don't want to get up. Or, oh, I have to work tomorrow. I had those feelings when I work at Target. I'm just like, oh, my God, I hope this day doesn't end. But like I'm just, I love to work, and I think it's that's kind of what happens when you work for yourself. I keep thinking I see somebody, but I guess not. When you work for yourself, it's more rewarding. I just, I like to work. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I don't work, I guess I get angry. <laughs> I'm weird, I guess. Um, no, I haven't done the 3D puff designs. I did buy puff foam because I want to try it. But I did buy it from All Stitch, um, so I'm gonna tr we want to try it to do a 3D puff on a hat and see how it looks. So yeah, um, guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Oh, somebody sent me. Oh, Miss Shorty, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Um. How much do you pay to sell on Etsy? About nine percent. Is how much it costs which hoop sizes are you most common I use the 7.25 mighty hoop um, for bodysuits and onesies 8 by 9 for sizes 18 month all the way up to like a 12 um, I have the 11 by 13 mighty hoop that you can use for like bigger adult shirts and or jacket backs and then for the logo on the, the business logos the five and a half inch mighty hoop 
What do you put under your machine to keep your carpet from getting ruined? Um, nothing. They're on their stands. The carpet doesn't get ruined. It's like if you have furniture, it, it makes indentations, but it comes up. Yeah, we'll do a video when we do the 3D puff. Of course, of course. Um. Hi, Mo. I've never heard of Zibit. Oh, my sister's here. I think. No. Um, I advertise $5 a day on Etsy. All I want to do is newborn to 5T or so. So if that's, just, if that's all you want to do, then I would get a 7... I don't know what kind of machine you have, but a 7.25 inch Mighty Hoop. Newborn is the hard part. That you kind of make a 4x4 hoop or... I use the 5.5 for newborn or for the uh, 0 3 month AJ Blanks. Um, I used to sell my shirts on eBay. It didn't work out well for me. Um, it really went down. I was selling maybe like four shirts a month on eBay. eBay to me didn't work, but I know a lot of you guys have had much success on eBay. I don't know. It kind of like died out. It used to be good, but just no. Um, copyright problems with Disney designs. So a lot of you guys. If you've been with me for a while, I used to sell, um, like, uh, number shirts with the fabric inside of it, um, Disney fabric, cartoon fabric inside the number. I just veered away from it because it's not, to me, at this point, it's not worth it. Um, it was so confusing, and it's like, you think it's black and white, but then there's gray, because, like, they say, okay, you can't use any Disney or any type of characters at all, but then they say, well, if you buy the fabric... You can use the fabric inside the number because you're not selling the fabric because the fabric sell says only for personal use, not commercial use. But what does that really mean? It got, I just was like, okay, I can't do this. So for a while, I just did the number shirts and I was like, okay, well, only listing I got taken down was the appliques where I had like the actual character. But the fabric inside the numbers was fine and nothing had been taken down for about a year. And then I got one taken down and I said, nope. That means it's not possible it's not it's not it's not okay so i took all mine down um and i've had everything taken down for like, like what, two two months now um so um that's just me my peace of mind at this point in time um so yeah um for dtg the best the best shirts i found are cotton heritage now I will say Gildan just came out with I have food stuck in my teeth. Just came out with a pr easy print shirt which worked very well and it's almost half the price as the Cotton Heritage. Alright, I'm about to go upstairs on this part. I need to go get I have like two Dunkin' Donuts cups, that's it. Alright, well, <laughs> well um I have to go upstairs. Roman's crying. I'm not sure why, but this <laughs> live has come to a close. You guys could just give this video a thumbs up on your way out and watch some of my other videos. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, please. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Good night. Close, 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 not closing.